Hi. You are so fat. Ooh, I look fantastic today. Or as I call it, my pregnant housewife look. Went to Sounders game last night. That was a lot of fun. Um, sorry, this hair over here on the side is just bugging me so much. But I mean, I, I literally just rolled out of bed and then just sat on the couch, which is kind of what I do with my life in general. But anyway, I went to Sounders, went to Sounders game last night, and it was, it was actually a lot of fun. Um, went with my dad. And we've, we've always been talking about going to a Sounders game together, which is our, uh, our professional soccer team for Washington. And so that was a lot of fun. And are you video bombing? You're a cat and you're video bombing. I hope you're happy with your life. I hope that your entire life is amounted to this one thing. Yeah. I never thought that would happen ever, but okay. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I went to Sounders game with my dad last night. I got some pretty cool footage from that. Going to a Sounders game. I'm excited going with my dad because I don't have any friends. <laughs> but no, uh, we got to go to a Sounders game for free. Uh, I had a friend who actually bought tickets, but she is, unfortunately wasn't able to go. So I'm going with my dad. Yeah, say hi. Hey there. We're related. Going up the biggest ramp in the entire world to get up to the third level, which is where our seats are. And it's literally just yeah, solid ramps. <sighs> yeah, <figured> out. <laughs> Number 17, DeAndre. So, I was tagged to do the ice bucket challenge by a butt-faced friend of mine. I don't want to do it because every, every black part of me, I'm a quarter black, and every black part of me is screaming not to do this. I don't want to get my hair wet. I don't want to <clears throat> be cold. But I'm going to do it anyway because it's like for a good cause, and I'm just like... Just so many spiders everywhere, and I don't like spiders. I'm afraid of spiders, okay? Like, I don't know if I would go so far to call it arachnophobia. That's not a bucket we're using. Oops. But it's definitely a fear of spiders, among other things. And we have a lot of spiders here. Mm. We used to have a neighbor that had one arm. He was a cool guy. And then he moved. <laughs> oh my god, there's a spider on me! <laughs> oh god. We were just talking about spiders and how they're everywhere. It was on the back of my hand and I reached up to grab something and then noticed it was there. And my immediate, my immediate reaction was to immediately just blow on the back of my hand, which it worked, but <laughs> I mean, it was good because I was in the middle of an exhale because I was going to probably scream, but that didn't happen. So I just went, <laughs> Okay, I'm Zoe, and this is the Ice Bucket Challenge for the ALS Awareness. I, ch I challenge, I tag Chanel DeVore, she's gonna kill me for that, Brad DeVore, he's gonna kill me for that, and Jesus. <laughs> so, I will, which I will also be donating, so you're not gonna like this, you're gonna hate this. Alright, he's gonna do it with me then. Let it rip, take it like a woman, do it. <laughs> <laughs> 
That is so much worse than I thought it would be. Oh, oh that didn't go as I planned. Oh my goodness. Look at him. Yeah. Okay, that was the ice bucket challenge. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I feel like I could have picked a, picked a better challenge, but it's good. It's good for raising awareness, and my mother and father laughed very hard the entire time. I didn't expect to get this drenched, but that happened. And my dad's getting me a towel because I forgot to get one, so. <sighs> yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> oh. All right, so I tagged my people as well. Hopefully they do it, although they probably won't, but yeah. Oh man, that was awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. It woke me up, so I'm wide awake now. But uh, yeah, it's for a good cause. Just part of why I even did it in the first place was because of the fact that I was like, I, I can't say no to that, you know. But yeah, so I'll throw a link in the description to, um, to where you can donate. I will be donating as well as my parentals and anyone else I can, I can get to donate. And among that, I kind of mentioned that I was going to um, talk a little bit more about me, what I do, why I'm here, and other crap like that. Uh, I'm, again, I'm, I'm Zoe, or hey you, depending on who you are. And uh, I'm 20 years old. I'm actually almost 21. Uh, at the end of this month, I'll be 21. So, yay, yeah, awesome, cool. Um, <clears throat> and among everybody and their mother who's just like, oh, we're going to get you so wasted on your birthday. Which I absolutely do not want to have happen. I don't like not having control, like, over my own body. I don't like not knowing what's happening. <clears throat> like, when I got my wisdom teeth out and they gave you um, pain medication for it, and I never took any. I took, like, maybe one, and I was like, I'm done. I hate it. Because it's like, I don't like being impaired whatsoever. I hate the feeling, and it makes me angry and frustrated. And so, I don't think I'm going to really enjoy that too much. Yes, I'm one of those few people in the entire world that I don't, I have not ever drank or anything before I was of age. So when, like, I don't know why I'm such a rare species, but apparently it is where like, I don't, I don't smoke. I've never done any, some sort of drug. Um, and I don't drink. Never have. And so apparently this 21st birthday, everyone is, is literally just going absolutely nuts. And they want just me to get like freaking hammered blackout. I'm going to wake up in another country. <clears throat> so that's going to be interesting to kind of fight off and whatnot. But I mean, I mean I'm excited for it in general because I get a lot of families going to come um, come down and see us and hang out. <clears throat> My best friend's coming down, so that'll be fun. So anyway, I'm Zoe, I'm turning 21 at the end of the month. Um, <clears throat> What do I do with my life? Um, nothing. I don't have a life. Um, but you know, I'm working. I'm in the process of working on that. Um, he's up in the background again. That's what happens when you have a wide angle lens. He's just sitting there. Just like that. Oh, man. Hmm. Weird cat. Yeah, there's not there's not too much to me. Um <clears throat> I'm a writer. I like to do that a lot. It's it's uh a hobby. It started as a hobby, but I've always loved it and now it's I'd like it to eventually become my um uh my line of work. I want it to eventually be my career as I want to be a writer. Um and it's not like I'm super inexperienced or anything like that. Um Plot twist, I was homeschooled <laughs> um, through high school. And um, there was, like, I don't know, at the time there was kind of a lot. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've graduated well by now, so I don't really know too much about if it's still an issue. Because um, they have funding issues for homeschoolers because it's, like, it's difficult to do anything. And so I wrote a piece about the difference and, like, why I prefer homeschooling or why I liked it and things like that. And they were very impressed with it, so they sent it to the board, and then the board went, and then they took it to the, I believe they put it in, like, a, like, the newspaper, and, like, a bunch of, I don't know, a bunch of other random stuff happened, and then they used it, um, to talk to, you know, try and get funding and stuff, so it was really cool for that to happen, especially, I think I was, like, a sophomore, so it was big for me at the time, um, 
that, but it was cool because it was helping a cause. And so there's th things like that. Um, and then I've, as well as things like I have written books, it's happened, but I haven't like gone out of my way to get them published yet. Um, partly just because they're just kind of me, you know, I mean, naturally anybody who's some form of artist or, you know, in any, some sort of medium, you immediately hate exactly, you hate exactly, you immediately hate what you've done. Like, if I make a video, or if I write something, or if I paint something, or whatever, I immediately look at it, and I'm just like, wow, this is garbage, and I need to stop. But, I mean, it's one of those things we're supposed to hate it, so. It's one of those things where I'm like, you know, like, that's the best thing I've ever hated. So, look at it like that. It's the best thing I've ever hated of mine. Um, but yeah, so, I like to write. Um, I love soccer. I play soccer a lot. Not a lot, I play like once a week. No. I play under soccer. Um, and that's a lot of fun. Uh, I have an indoor recreational league because I'm not good enough to play anything else. But I have a lot of fun with that. I get good exercise and whatnot. Um, what else do I do? I play video games a lot. I usually, I get on pretty late at night and I just play for hours and hours and hours. At this point in time, I am not going to college or school of any sort. Partly because I hate it. Um, it's kind of been good. I'm in between jobs right now. I just, um, I was working for Microsoft for um, the past year, um, specifically game testing. Hamburger head? Hamburger head. But I'm actually adopted. Um, me and I have a really big family. I have um, four, no, sorry, three older sisters. And uh, me and the sister that's closest to my age, I'm the youngest of four, and she's right, so she's the second youngest. And she's also adopted, but we're adopted from two different families. So, but that's kind of cool. And she is three quarters black. So she's dark. And then I'm a quarter black. And the rest of my family are all like porcelain skin. Like they look at the sun and they get sunburned. Um, but yeah, okay, I'm gonna go. So, flame, stay flame, flame on. S nope. Stop it! Never mind! Look, it's the death of me. Oh, it's so pretty.